All right, so we're going to watch the sissy. Um, now, this is um, a clear satire on the issue of, um, you know, creating um, non-gendered bathrooms and the debate of whether people who are transgender can use the um, bathroom that they identify with, right? And this is, um, you know, for Matt and Trey, as, as libertarians, right, their view, in essence, is you should have the freedom of choice, that you should be able to choose to use the bathroom that you feel most comfortable using, not not someone should make that choice for you, and not that someone should create another category of bathroom for you, for you to use. How does that does that make it does that make it better? Does that resolve the problem? And you also hear this in Follow That Egg, where um, the governor of Colorado proposes, you know, uh, a marriage equality law where. Um, people can get married, same-sex marriage can happen, but it won't be called marriage. You'll be called butt buddies. Um, and we'll watch that, that in, a, in, in a few, few moments. And that may, that's not equality. Is equality creating a bathroom, a, a non-gendered bathroom, is that true equality or is that creating another category? Is that creating more, more of an issue? So for Matt and Trey, um, you know, in this episode, basically, uh, you know, Cartman has to take a dump. Um, the boys' room is filled, and so he uh, goes into the girls' room and, you know, takes a massive dump. Um, uh, puts a little ribbon on his head, and he identifies himself as what he calls trans ginger um, because he just doesn't know what... Um, he just doesn't know what it is, but he knows he knows enough about it. Um, but he doesn't know what the right the right word is. But he knows how to explore it. So this is also an interesting episode. Sorry, that poison oak is itching like a motherfucker. Um, you know, you also have another gender you know gender play in this episode with Randy, who is revealed to be Lord, that the um, the famous singer and songwriter Lord is actually. A 45-year-old um, male geologist. So again, you know, you have Cartman who, um, you know, who wants to use the girls' bathroom, and he performs gender in a very Cartman way, um, and then he ends up getting his own bathroom that is, um, you know, a. a you know, for non-conforming, um, you know, gender identities. And then Wendy becomes Wendell. Um, and so we have Erica and Wendell um, in that. So you have, you do see how, you know, even in a very self-parkian, self-parkian, a very, I'm going to use that, self-parkian way, you know, um, they play with that. Uh, they play with, like, Regardless of Cart Cartman's motives and Wendy's motives, which are both bullshit, um, it does show how they're performing at, a, at even a minimal level gender, that it's a performance, um, that it's a construction, and they, they follow with these, these, these roles. Now, we also have um, this whole other part, which is um, a spin uh, reporter who's trying to find out who Lord really is. And there's this whole arc of Randy and how, you know, happy he is um, in some ways as, as Lord, um, you know. And the challenges of having a hidden identity is another thing. And what we mean by hidden identity is, you know, you, you know, having to hide who you really are, who you believe you really are for society, and the pain, the pain of that, I mean, in, again, a very South Park way, you know, the challenges of hindering who you are and your identity, um, you know, to fit in within society. 
okay? Um, but it, yeah, it's the whole debate on, you know, the satire on the debate is, you know, can trans students, non, non-conforming, non you know, genderqueer students, uh, you know, trans students, whatever, um, can and should they be able to use the bathroom that they associate with their gender and not their, um, you know, born sex, you know? And they're basically playing with both sides of, of, that, of that debate. Um, and showing maybe the ridiculousness specifically of the side of the debate that rejects that, that thinks that um, you shouldn't be able to use the bathroom of your, you know, of your identity, your gender identity, of how you feel you are and who you are and who you know you are. Um, you must, you know, uh, adhere to uh, and use the bathroom that, um, you know, is, um, related to your, you know, uh, sex at birth, you know, and the organs that you, that you have, <clears throat> um, although that's not who you, who you are. And, and basically, you know, the, 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 there's a lot of jokes in here, but the main thing is that equality in this instance is allowing someone to make the choice, a free choice that makes them feel good, that makes them feel safe, that makes them feel comfortable, right? And does creating a new bathroom for people who do not conform to um, what's normal or conform to this binary, does creating a new bathroom for them actually produce and promote equality? Okay, you know, making a bathroom that says other, <laughs> you know, what does, what does that do, you know? Boys, girls, other, does that promote equality? So we're going to watch this episode, so we're going to watch The Sissy, um, it's from 2014, um, you know, just p pay attention to gender performance, how it exhibits elements of gender performance, how it also um, you know plays with this debate, which I think is fucking ridiculous about what bathroom you use, um, specifically from people who think you shouldn't be able to use the bathroom uh, of your identity, that you must use the bathroom of your born sex. And then we'll come back and we'll talk a little bit about uh, LGBTQIA rights, and we'll watch Follow That Egg. <laughs>